Stayallday.com. I'm doing this drill here, coming from the wing corner slash area. I'm gonna attack towards the baseline, go snatch back in front of my body, spin by keeping the dribble alive. So I want to let that ball kind of drop out of my hand. I don't want to cup it too much. Let it drop out of my hand on the spin move, so I can bounce it again, pick it up. Then I'm gonna finish with the left hand right there next to the basket. So a little snatch back. Notice on that snatch how I plant that first foot, the front leg on the snatch, and then I let my right leg, the leg that's coming from behind, see how I let it drag a little bit? Let that leg drag. Same thing you do in any crossover. You let that back leg drag. It helps sell the move when you do any kind of cross. Snatch back, regular cross between the legs, whatever you got to do. In this drill, I'm coming from the wing corner area. What I'm going to do is attack the baseline. I'm going to a snatch back dribble. So when I do that snatch, notice how I'm dragging that back leg. See how that back leg drags along the floor, my toes right there on the floor? It will scuff your sneaks up, but that's a part of playing ball. You want to have a good crossover, get used to it. Let that back foot drag, then I'm going to spin. Notice how I'm doing that spin. I want to try to let that ball drop out of my hand. So I don't want to carry it all the way around. I don't want to palm it. I don't want my palm facing the ceiling, which would be... Which would mean that I couldn't dribble again. See, I'm letting that ball bounce out. So I'm really, it's not really a dribble. I'm just letting it drop. Once it drops, I'm picking it up off the drop. And then I'm finishing it with the layup. So you see I'm not actually continuing to dribble. I'm just letting it drop out of my hand. Then I'm picking it up and finishing. This is TZ from New York. Nike, swoosh all day. Work on your game.